or video track. Insert a couple here. And what what I have here is Call of Duty images. I have a few characters on here, so I'm just gonna drag one. And then see how you notice that there's you know a block image and that kind of ruins the background. So what you want to do is mask around the um or mask the object you're masking. So go to the event pan crop. And then click this, and then click the pen tool, and then start masking around the object you're trying to um, put in your background. Now, if you don't know how to mask, I have a tutorial on that. Uh, you can look it up on my channel. Um, I have about three tutorials on masking, so yeah. it doesn't matter. You don't have to be accurate because I'm going to show you how to fix a few errors if you made while masking. Alright. Now if you see here there's a few, you know, hard spots, hard edges you wanna erase. If you go down to path, you see this little option comes up. What you want to do is go to feather type, select both, and then change the feather percent about five. And that'll smooth out the image around the object. So, and if you want to move uh, your image around, you can use this by track motion, which is this tool right here. This little window pops up, and basically, what you can do is you can move it around any way you want. You can even rotate it. And just another thing, um, for this template, you want to imagine that there's a black box in this area right here, because that's where your video is going to be. And you don't want any images that you can't see on your background. So, put this a little lower. And if the image is too big for you, um, you can always go to event pan crop and still in masking mode you can click this little top keyframe right here and that'll revert it back to the uh, pan crop window and so if you click on it and drag it outward that'll make the image smaller than it already is so see here you can make it bigger if you want but uh, you don't want that, so I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. I'm just gonna mask a few more images here. Alright, uh, so now um, we're just gonna add a background texture to the um, background. So, you wanna place this little texture here at the very bottom. Um, the thing is, this little template is blocking the way of this um, texture. So, what you wanna do is, if you wanna keep the. Oh, let's zoom in here. If you want to keep these black lines in your background, you can uh, go to Video FX, go to Chroma here, and select any option, drag it to your template, and then put the color all the way to white. And that'll uh, erase all the white uh, color on the template. Now, if you see here, the te um, texture isn't full screen, and you can um, fix that by right-clicking texture and going to your properties, and then uh, checking the maintain aspect ratio. That'll yeah, that'll make it full screen. So basically, you're done.
but there are a few errors on the background. See, for example, if you see here um, at the bottom of each image, um, the image just ends, you know, harsh, harshly, or actually, it's a little hard edge. You know, you don't really want that in your video. You want it kind of like fading in. So you can fix that by going to Cookie Cutter in your video effects. I'm going to Diamond Center Blurred. And then what this does, it actually makes a diamond shape and actually feathers your image. So if you want to play around with this, you see that the um, bottom of this image is kind of fading in. Same for the other image. And you're done. Um, basically, all you need to know is how to save your image. So if you go here, make sure. Before saving your image, make sure that it's set to best and full. And then after that, click this, save, or actually save, sorry, snapshot to file, click it, go to desktop, name your picture, call of duty background. Save it as a JPG. Save it. There you go. You made a YouTube background. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. And if you want a request, or if you want to request me to do a tutorial on something in Sony Vegas, just leave me a message or ask in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.